On the road to reopening now, some new data showing that New Jersey transit delays continue despite lower ridership caused by the pandemic. So what should people expect once more commuters start using public transportation again? CBS 2's Meg Baker has that. As companies push to have their employees return to work in the fall, the outlook for commuters isn't great. What should they expect? Yeah, look, I, I think in the short term, um, I think that uh, they're going to see uh, continuing delays. Good old unreliable. Steven Sigmund with the Gateway program says the Hudson Tunnel already had 22 days of delays in 2021. That's one every four days. NJ Transit has the worst on time record in the nation and is the most expensive to ride. For Jersey to compete, to attract families and businesses, and for America to win in the global marketplace, we must turn this around. U.S. Congressman Josh Gottheimer says there is hope for the future with a new partnership with the Biden administration and bipartisan legislation. Which includes critical investment in New Jersey's transit system, from the rails and train cars to the Gateway Tunnel. If things don't improve, transit experts say it will further negatively affect employment equity and the environment. Felicia Park Rogers is with the Tri State Transportation Campaign. The car congestion is already at 95% of pre COVID levels. Um, and ridership on transit is low, indicating people are choosing their cars over transit. Rogers fears what experts call a death spiral. The more people that don't ride, the less fare revenue, less money, less service. Gottheimer is hoping for a vote on the federal transportation bill before the August recess. In Glen Rock, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. The administration's bipartisan infrastructure bill includes money not only for the Gateway Tunnel Project and rail, but also for roads, bridges, broadband, and fixing lead pipes.